Hello there. I'm a cultural historian, and uh, as my level of concern with the future of cities has grown, I'm writing less books and writing more manifestos. And uh, uh, this is one of them. Contrary to the feverish promises of turn of the 20th century uh, futurists, the romance of the road is, uh, is driving humanity down a dead end. The era of speed, acceleration, motorized mobility is transforming the world into a perpetual traffic jam. Entire cities are being sacrificed on the altar of automobility. The landscape is being reduced to a drive-through and flyover zone fracked to extract fuels, whose combustion is quite literally cooking the globe. And nearly 70% of major metropolitan areas today are regularly under dense and noxious blankets of smog. And people aren't moving more. They're moving less and with greater difficulty. And of course, they're also having to manage the uh, health consequences of the sedentary lifestyles that they've been encouraged to adopt. So if this is the much celebrated era of mobility, I think it's time for us to switch gears from mobility to what I'm going to call movability. Movability takes place. It unfolds on the, the far more intimate, intelligent human scale of the emerging 21st century cityscape. It's the scale of autonomous land drones threading their way down sidewalks, uh, on uh, crowded sidewalks. The scale of cargo vehicles invisibly tethered to human operators performing last mile deliveries in pedestrian only zones. It's the scale of electric microcars platooning down streets uh, while being able to carry out individualized pickups and drop offs. And it's the scale of civic spaces animated by new kinds of vehicles that improve the life of the mobility impaired, of the aging population, by extending the compass and the range of their activities. Now, I'd like to introduce you to a vehicle that embodies the, the spirit of uh, movability. Um, so you're going to have to sit tight for a second while I go fetch this vehicle. So meet Jada. I'm going to take Jada for a little walk while we... Uh... So um, Jada, my robotic sidekick here, is the first in a family of vehicles currently undergoing advanced testing and development at uh, Piaggio Fast Forward in uh, Boston. Um, <clears throat> And as you can see, Cheetah is a kind of motor scooter for the 21st century. It's a category of vehicles that I think is really going to explode over the course of the next decade and transform the way we move around cities. Uh, and like its big brother, Kilo, Cheetah is a functional and fun cargo vehicle that allows people to move more, to move better, to move further and faster, to move both more pleasurably and more efficiently. Whether you're a uh, neighborhood resident who needs to move three or four bags of groceries down the block, or you're an office worker who likes to run back and forth to work, who likes to jog, or you're a utility uh, worker, a maintenance worker, who needs to have their hands free so they can perform useful labor while they're trailed by an intelligent toolbox, let's say in a kind of campus type environment. Cheeta is your movability helper, allowing you to do things that you used to have to do by driving. Now you can do them while walking. And perhaps best of all, uh, once you've completed your appointed rounds, uh, you can send Jita off on its own, either back to base or out on an autonomous mission uh, into the world. Now, um, Jita's cargo bay is, um, is built, I'm going to skip through here. Jita's cargo bay is built to the scale, designed to the scale of a uh, basically a case of wine. Yeah. We loaded this one up with uh, flowers and produce. But <laughs> um, at 40 pounds approximately and 2,000 cubic inches, that's a movability challenge that would lead most of us to uh, reach for the keys to the car. <clears throat> 
To drive Jita, I think as you've already seen, is basically to walk. If you know how to walk, you know how to drive a vehicle like this. You don't need to uh, open up an instruction manual. <clears throat> and with its uh, bicycle-sized wheels, it can um, easily and comfortably traverse everything from uh, you know, uh, irregular and irregular pavement surfaces. It can move between indoor and outdoor environments, streets, uh, sidewalks, and so forth, and up and down ADA-compliant uh, ramps. <clears throat> OK. Cheetah has three operational modes. The mode I've been showing you, which I'm about to activate again, follow me, autonomous, and uh, convoy or daisy chain. Um, and you'll notice, follow me, I'm not using this device to get Jita to follow me here. It's using LiDAR. It's, it's mapping onto the movement of my, of my feet. But what's perhaps most distinctive about Jita, and most meaningful about it, is that it leverages the superior power of human intelligence to perform complex navigational tasks. Sidewalks, streets, uh, uh, pedestrian areas of all kinds, civic spaces, are devilishly complex environments. They come complete with cracks in the pavement, with obstacles like lampposts and fire hydrants and so forth. And of course, they're animated by other moving agents, whether it's pedestrians or pets or the like. Given that the world is not about to be redesigned for purposes of machine vision, and thank God for that, that would be a pretty dreary rectilinear uh, dystopia. Jita learns the optimal pathways through the world by following an expert guide, namely you or me in this particular case. As it travels, it creates detailed three-dimensional maps of everything encounter it encounters so that when it's sent off on autonomous missions between designated waypoints, it, it can uh, move intelligently, but adapt should the real world have diverged from its existing knowledge base. Machine intelligence walking hand in hand with human intelligence. The phrase is a phrase that appeals to me because it gestures towards a future in which the equation between movement and life that has been embraced by every human civilization over the course of millennia could now find, it, find itself translated into a bold new formula, a bold new equation, namely that new and enhanced forms of individual movement equal a better quality of life for society as a whole. Thank you.